Okay, what's this? What's this? Surface Gold Anomaly. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so let's take up from where we left off in part one. We're looking at Gervais Mining. We're looking at the Investors tab, their ASX announcements, and we're back in 2015. So in part one, we looked at quarterly activities report from April 30th, 2015. So let's now look at this quarterly activities report at July. 31st, 2015. So we scroll down, we're looking for the West Australian project, Nalbara. Here it is. We have to read all the data so we know what's actually happening on the ground. The surface goal anomaly is 2.5 kilometers long. Okay, this is what we saw before. It's a very broad anomaly. This looks like a tertiary paleo channel. Now this is something new. We haven't seen this before. This is a very high result. 230 PPP gold. So now the challenge is try to find out exactly where this is. Okay, so that was the July report. Let's see. Let's go back. Let's have a look at October. We scroll down. Here we go. Updates. So nothing new in this report. Let's go back one more. November. Here it is. January. 2016. So it looks like I've got a new project on the border here. Nothing new in that report. Let's go back January, April. Where's April? Here we go. April 2016. Anything new? So it's starting to look like our project is becoming a second tier project for this company. They're focusing all their attention and resources on this new tenement, this new project. So that's what happens. Companies, they lose focus and our project pretty much just fades away. We'll have one more look. This is June 2016. So it's looking like the company has lost interest in our project. So all we can say now is that we found a new bit of information here and let's see if we can chase this up. So we have to know that this report is what the company submits to the ASX. To define the quarterly activities. But the company has to file a detailed report with the mines department on the anniversary of the tenement each year. So now let's see if we can find the actual report the company filed with the mines department and see if we can get the GPS locations of this high result. So what do we do? Well, we come back to the 10 graph page. Here's the online systems. And this time we're looking for Waymax. So remember, we have to go to view more. And on this page, you have all the online systems that the mines department offer. So here we go, Waymax. So what we have to know is the tenement. E59-1257. So this is GeoView. So you access Waymax through the GeoView platform. Scroll down, search for Mineral Exploration Reports, Waymax. Click on that. Now you're going to have a few options here. We're going to look for the textual search first. Because we know the tenement number. Here it is, tenement. The tenement number is E59. 1257 and you'll have a little box pop up where you can select and, you, and then everything else is okay okay so there's the tenement so now you have to come down and click on the search button okay so here's all of our Waymax files here now how I use this is I click on this options bar and I switch to list and what that does is it puts all the reports on the side of the page Okay, so we got seven results here. All these reports in Albara, 
2010 so it goes back a little bit further than what we thought so let's have a look we have to look at each report so you click on the report and click on the PDF report okay so here's the report what's the year 2013 so we can just scroll through uranium project so this might just be the uranium project let's have a look uranium uranium so they might not be focused on gold quite yet so this is the map that we we found with the high 230 ppb so you have to read all this so 1960 68 samples were taken and assay for gold uranium and vanadium so this is interesting here it says the results indicated that a gold anomaly does not occur well in fact it does now what's this this is for uranium uranium uh, this is all uranium potassium thorium so this is the beauty about the Waymax files you get some beautiful maps to work off of okay can use a lot of these maps in your own reports what's this vanadium this is all uranium uranium uranium's very hot now here it is uranium prospective calcrete so you can see how detailed the report is there's a lot of information here but unfortunately it's uranium and we want gold so let's go back. So I'll go back to GeoView. Look for the next report. It may be the same. It may be just uranium. Let's have a look. So we can scroll fairly quickly through all this because we're looking for gold. But it does pay to read all this so you can know the history of the tenement. So this is pretty much the same thing we saw last time. Okay, let's move on to the next report. It's the third report, 2010. So we're actually going back. Uranium, I think it's all uranium. I think we could say safely 20, 2009. So let's look at this. So this is the final surrender port for 2015. This should be what we're looking for. So this shows all the reports that we looked at in the Waymax database. So let's see. Let's see what they say about gold. This gives the history of the exploration of the tenement. Fortunately, it's all uranium. Where's the gold? Okay, so here's the geochem file. Let's just see if we can get that 230 ppb target. So it's all uranium, potassium, thorium. Okay, well, no gold here. So here's another tenement here. This looks like most of the gold's on this tenement. So let's search for this tenement in Waymax, ELA. 592121. Let's go back here. Tenement. E. 592121. Okay. Okay. And click search. Okay, so we have one report. Like I say, I like to switch to list to get the, which gives a report on the left side. You get the map here to look at. And a good feature of this is when you point to the report, it shows you it shows you the tenement that actually that report covers. So let's have a look. There's the report. It's final surrender report. 2016. This gives all the information on that tenement. Here's a previous exploration. So this is the conclusion that the company reached. That the gold soil analysis, although anomalous, were not considered sufficient to plan further work. Hence the tenement was surrendered. So this was our map that we found. But what we can do is, so we print this map. What page is that? Nine. Page nine. So let's go over here. Let's just select page nine for now. We print the map. So what we can do is we can print this map here 
and just try to dead reckon where those results are. So let's do that. So let's print, print the map, tell it what scale you want. I like to work, well, let's see. If you work in 50,000, this is a very handy feature here. So use this feature, it's called Print Preview. It tells you the area that's going to be printed so you can see that it doesn't quite cover. But what we do is we just put it on 100. See, there's the outline of the map that's going to be printed. So that's quite good. So let's click Print. Okay, so the map's finished. Let's click Open. Okay, well, it's not quite what we wanted. Also, the map looks like it's in portrait. And we asked it to print landscape, so let's have a look what's going on here. So, sometimes you have issues, so that's an issue. So, um, let's try portrait. So, from this drop down box, let's try portrait, see how that works out. It looks like it prints the area that we want, so let's try it. Print. Okay, so the map's finished, let's have a look. Okay, so that's better. So, now let's print this map. Now what you have to be careful with is that you print the map, the scale, because if you choose fit to printable area, fit to paper, or whatever, you'll lose your scale. It won't be 1 to 100. So make sure it's in default. Okay, so we have both our maps here. Now this is just rough, rough and ready because we don't have the GPS coordinates yet. We're still looking, but you can see that there's a high point here high point, high point. So if we look at our print of the map, the actual map, so let's just say we take that point and we get the GPS coordinates, we can do that because we have the, the GPS coordinates on this map. We'll go out in the bush, camp here, camp somewhere in here, a good spot, find a good spot to camp, to walk around for a few days, check all these points out. So you can get the GPS coordinates for all these spots and go out and have a go for a couple of days. You'll get on some goals straight away if there's anything there.